What's up, Blue Collar Scholars? Coffee is a recipe, okay? That means we have to use a certain amount of coffee to a certain amount of water to get the flavor that we want, okay? So if you've ever, uh, you know, baked cookies before and you used too much flour, they don't taste right. They don't have this the right flaky, buttery, delicious goodness. It's doughy and, and flat and like, it tastes like flour, right? It doesn't taste right. So coffee has this golden rule given to us gracefully by the Specialty Coffee Association of a 16 to one ratio. That means 16 grams of water, one gram of coffee. I don't have a, I don't have 16 fingers. So this, this means 16, this means one. So 16 grams of coffee, uh, 16 grams of water to one gram of coffee. Uh, it doesn't translate exactly to one ounce of coffee to 16 ounces of water, but it's pretty close. Uh, I don't know that I would take it much past the one ounce to 16 ounces. Uh, so one ounce of coffee does actually make about a 16 ounce cup of coffee. After that, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't take it up towards gallons or liters or anything like that, right? So I would I would start measuring it out. Uh, I would also recommend switching to metric for these because water one milliliter water equals one gram of water. It's it's the exact same measurement, so that makes it really easy to just do grams of water, grams of coffee, and boom, measured perfectly. Now, a lot of coffee bags, especially well. Here, I'm in Arizona. I'm sure there's people not in America that might see this, so I don't know why, but I don't know any of them. So I don't know why I'm acting like I'm a international influencer, but I will be. But anyway, on most of the coffee bags now, you have a tablespoon, right? It says like one tablespoon per six ounces of, uh, six ounces of water, right? So that's about every cup of, uh, on your, on your brewer, you know how it says, you know, two cups, four cups, six, eight, 10, 12. And remember, this is something that we gotta get into our brains because it's stupid, I don't know why, but coffee machines use six ounces per cup, not eight ounces, okay? So just another reminder, I know I say it a lot, but they say about one tablespoon per six ounces of water. Let's see what it looks like. A lot of coffee will tell you to use, you know, one table bags, uh, the coffee bags will tell you to use one tablespoon uh, per six ounces. So that's for like every cup listed on there. So uh, what I wanted to do is say we're gonna make a 12 ounce cup of coffee. We're gonna do two tablespoons, one, two. Okay, and then now we're going to weigh out what that looks like. I've already teared it, so throw that on there. It says that's about 10 grams of coffee. Okay, so if I was going to make a 12 ounce cup of coffee myself, um, I would use, let's see here, use my other spoon, I would use 20 two grams of coffee to make my 12 ounce cup. So let's just get it in there for comparison. Obviously we can do the math and say it's going to be twice as much, but just for the really cool visual, that's the difference. Okay, so this is one of the main reasons why people think especially coffee is so strong or that when they follow the instructions on the bag they don't get the best tasting coffee because you're going to over extract the stuff it's not going to be as good you need more coffee in your brewer okay so we can see that a tablespoon doesn't quite get us where we need to be it falls a little bit short um i mean i guess i could Say this might be just shy of, this might be a, more of a gimmick because it's got the fun uh, 
saying on it. Um, I'm not gonna see, whatever. It might be short of a, of a tablespoon, but really the tablespoon method is very ballpark and not the most exact. Again, just like with the water, I don't necessarily need my coffee to be exactly 16 to one. Um, some of us like it stronger, some of us like it weaker. And stronger and weaker means how much coffee you're using to how much water. So if you like it stronger, use a little bit more coffee. But this, I would say, is not the best method to start with. What I would do is, is take the time to do it once or twice, measure it out exactly 16 to one, and, and then see where it's at in your room, right? So, you know, like, the grinds come up to right here. Like, oh, okay, then I can be like, bloop, 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 with my trusty spoon and not have to worry about um, how close it's gonna be because it's going to be, that's going to be an actual ballpark measurement. Not starting from this, this is not a ballpark measurement. This is like a Hail Mary hope that we even get close to hitting the broad side of a barn type of measurement. So. Let me know, how do you measure your coffee? Let me know in the comments, I would love to hear it. If you have any ticks and tips or tricks, I'm struggling with my words today, uh, let me know. I wanna hear about it, how you measure your coffee. With that, I will say, I do.